Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. I hope that you are doing well. These cards have been pre-shuffled. We just need to split the deck. Just would like to let you know, um, Virgo, that we are gonna be doing a um, live stream next week. If that is of interest to you, if you'd like to grab a reading, visit groovygypsytarot.com slash events. There'll be a link down below in the comment section, as well as in the description box. And also, I am available for personal readings, if that's of interest. So check that out. All right, Virgo. Milk and honey. All right. Let's see what we've got in the tarot. Temperance. Queen of Cups. Oh, I forgot to let you know, those of you that are uh, past clients, you'll be receiving a discount code in your email for personal reading. So keep an eye out in your email. I love these cards. This is the Marchetti deck. You guys know, those of you that have been with me for a while know that this is my favorite deck. Let me make a slight adjustment as you are my first reading today, Virgo. All right, my darlings. So we start out with the card of milk and honey. And when milk and honey comes out, there's a there's an indication that either you're in need of some sort of nurturing energy in your life, which I do see that that's the case. You may be needing to spend some time focusing on self-love. This is showing this here. Um, the fact that we see this um, intensity of chaos and struggle and, and overcoming that as well as overcoming um, some traumatic, traumatic events or grief, then we see that there's a need for you to spend some time receiving what it is that you need for sustenance. Now, that's spiritually, emotionally, physically, etc., um, so whether this is being around the people that you love or taking some time for yourself or, you know, perhaps even having a spa day, something of that nature, we see that this particular card is saying that, that Virgo, you are in need of some self-love and care. All right. Your overall energy is that of the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands um, is a reflective energy, but it's one in which... You know, you put in some hard work and energy and you're just waiting to see a turnaround for that. It's, it's like, you know, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for some some sort of movement in an area of your life. Now, this could be both work and relationship-wise, Virgo. I'm just going to note that. Um, the Hierophant is showing up. He often represents traditional values, morals, things of that nature. Um, it could also be entering into a contract or entering into a long-term relationship or pointing to some sort of contractual obligation or some sort of um, religious situation as well. I don't know why that's coming up, but maybe one of you is dealing with that um, or focusing on a relationship. Now I see here with the milk and honey and the queen of cups coming out um, clarified by the Hierophant. Um, and our Two of Cups showing up here as well. Virgo, it may be necessary for you to put some time and energy into um, nurturing and growing a relationship that you have. Doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. This could be familial. It could be with a mother figure. Um, it also could be um, with your team if this is work-related, that there may be a need to put some energy in to you know helping your team grow um because the three of coins is a team environment or a collaborative environment um other way this this is requiring kind of a a soft and tender approach so if this is involving communication with another person it's requiring you to you know make sure your communication is softened and in a way that's going to be um, pleasant for all parties. If this is spending time with somebody that you love, it's giving that person your undivided attention, putting the cell phone away, maybe even creating a little space on your wall that says no, <laughs> no phones. Um, I have a, I have a little section by my front door where, you know, when friends and family come over, 
the cell phones go into that little pouch and um, it's a need to spend time together, you know? So you start out here with this energy, Virgo, of uh, stress and strain and struggle. When the temperance card comes up, there's usually some sort of chaos going on around you or some sort of stressful situation that you're having to find a way to bring about a sense of peace in your life while you're dealing with this stress, while you're dealing with this struggle. The stressful situation could be the result of some sort of grief. Now, grief could be the loss of a job, loss of money, loss of, you know, a relationship, Grief, uh, this particular card can also indicate trauma, right? Trying to find some sort of patience with regards to someone dealing with trauma or you dealing with some sort of trauma. Um, it's a recollection of a need for healing, but yet a very difficult experience that has left you kind of burdened and feeling like, you know, all hope is lost in the moment. Here we see this energy of patience where you're trying to be patient with yourself or another person that happens to be going through this energy. From a work perspective, um, there could be something that has happened in the workplace that has left you feeling kind of depleted. It could, could just very simply be a very stressful day. And um, this particular card is saying, okay, now's the time to kind of, you know, let that energy go, let it flow out, and just focus on you, right? And here's the, the need to focus on you. Um, it could be a need to focus on you, and if you do, because religion was brought up, and I don't normally bring that up on my channel, but because it was brought up um, from this card a short while ago, Virgo, if you happen to have a strong faith in a any particular direction, this could be that maybe you're needing to spend some time focusing on that faith, building that faith, growing that faith even stronger. But what we see here is we see that there's this, this need for a nurturing, loving energy within some form of relationship or workplace environment or team environment. And this particular energy is also indicating that you cannot be continually giving to you to others when you need to take some time for yourself as well because oftentimes this queen of cups is giving 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 of her energy and her love and her care uh, but yet she's depleted right it's like in that space she becomes depleted so man woman they them there's a need for you to take take some time for you as well by taking some time for you and, you know, re replenishing your energy stores and focusing on releasing some sort of trauma, some sort of stress, some sort of difficulty. By doing that, I see that you are going to draw closer to someone that you love for those of you that are dealing with relationships or you're going to create a more cohesive team environment, either with you and your family, you and your friends, or you in the workplace. So I see a beautiful energy here of collaboration and a beautiful energy here of being like-minded, seeing the future in the same way, and you know, really spending time encouraging one another and building each other up rather than tearing each other down. And still, so, we see that there is a small weight to get to this this point in time, but that is because in this particular situation, Virgo, you're in need of replenishing your own energy stores first, and then you come back to the situation even stronger and more able to be an encouraging, loving force within this unit or this couple. All right? So that's what I see for you, Virgo. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, take a spa day. Take a nail day. day <laughs> go out fishing. Whatever it is, you know, it's going to kind of, you know, help you to reduce the stress. Find a way to reduce the stress. And I think you're going to see uh, a stronger energy moving forward. Love and light to you, Virgo. Don't forget to check out groovygypsytarot.com for events and personal readings or personalized meditations. And I shall see you again soon. Ta-ta for now.